We were supposed to leave today, but because of weather, all speedboats were canceled. And so now we're essentially stuck yeah. on Cham Island. We found a secluded and I think abandoned beach. Um, it's called Baibak, which is maybe like a 10 to 15 minute drive, depending on how fast you're driving from the pier. There's absolutely nobody here and it looks like it hasn't been occupied for quite a while. Um, the umbrellas made out of like palm tree leaves are blown down um, on the sand. The beach has a bunch of garbage on it. Uh, there is trash around the bungalows it's or the villas. It's a resort. Yeah. And right behind it is a military zone. You can hear some sort of noise coming from the, uh, just behind the resort. It's a little so creepy. It's, it's very, very creepy. <laughs> it just feels so desolate, like a, like a suspense movie or something. So we're yeah. getting out of here. <laughs> yeah. We're getting out of here. You just see like villas and um, abandoned. And oh yeah. Somebody's there. Yeah. Oh, there's a guy watering the uh. something. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's a little creepy. <laughs> yeah. oh, this is the first person we've seen here, and he's watering the grass. Mm. Uh, anyways. So, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> if this place was well kept, it would be a nice, secluded, quiet getaway uh, resort. This is the resort. There's a little bridge to kind of walk over a little stream, and there's a, maybe a handful of villas, uh, but it's completely desolate. Which is unfortunate because this beach side is really pretty. So we were just over there. That This is uh, the beach that's sort of abandoned. And there's a resort there. But there's, there was only one person we saw watering the grass. And I'm not sure if it's still operational. But either way, it's still kind of creepy. Good morning. We're still on Cham Island today. Day three. Day three. We were supposed to leave today, but because of weather, all speedboats were canceled. And so now we're essentially stuck yeah. on Cham Island. Uh, apparently there were some fishing boats that were leaving today, but we were advised not to go because they are apparently not following the law. Yep. Because the, there's a government ban on any boats operating to and from Cham Island to the mainland. So after much debate, we decided mm, to wait it out. To wait it out. Yeah. We asked uh, the opinion of a few people, and ultimately they said for us to stay on the island for at least tonight. Better so, safe than sorry. Yeah. No, we're not in. A particular rush to be anywhere no we're not so, so it'll, be, risk it. it'll be our third night staying in the homestay that we're at um, the owner or the manager she's really nice and uh, we've been eating there yeah. so it should be okay I doubt much is gonna be open today because there are no tourists coming to the island and we see that most restaurants are only open during lunchtime yep. um, when they anticipate uh, for uh, visitors coming to the island uh, So I'm not sure what we're gonna do about lunch today um, I guess we'll drive around and see Keep looking over my shoulder because there are monkeys back there. Yeah, we on our drive coming here There are some monkeys. They're like the red face kind and you can kind of hear them. Is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah. You can kind of hear them. So I don't know if uh, they're talking about us. <laughs> <laughs> you know, planning their planning a strategy or something. They're planning an attack. Yeah. So Tony's just looking over his shoulder in case they uh, <laughs> decide to be mischievous. Um, but uh, coming out here, it's it's kind of weird because you don't see anyone uh, driving this way. The end of this road is a military zone. Yeah, it says do um, not enter. Right, so maybe it's like a training area and then there's like that deserted resort and then you just hear the monkeys uh, calling out to each other. 
and then to top it off it's just like an overcast gray day uh yeah uh, this is like this is like this a scene in a movie i know <laughs> <laughs> like uh what's that one beach movie where they uh get like lost on an island lost? and it's like murdered and... no don't say yeah. that yeah it's kind I mean, of that's weird. not gonna happen but that's sort of the vibe that you get <laughs> i know so it'll be fine it'll be fine Here you can see the road that goes along the coast on Tram Island. You take this road to go to the other beaches that we went to yesterday. Follow that and uh, the pier is over here. That's where the pier is where there are no boats in operation today. Um, but as we were driving we noticed um, right below this cliff here there are some people hanging out. So. At our homestay, our, the manager said that there is a cargo boat that is, that is going from the island to the mainland, um, but we were advised to not go on it. This is everyone waiting to get on a boat to go back to Hoi An. We see uh, a few of the same people, a few of the people that were staying in the homestay that we were at. We're back at the homestay now. We drove around the island and there's nothing open. <laughs> uh, all of the restaurants are closed. The corner stores are closed because there are no tourists here. So no reason to stay open. So we're back at the homestay now, having a beer. It's five o'clock somewhere. The only downside to this is that we can't go out and buy our own food. We have to, we're, we're pretty much reliant on the homestay owner to prepare food for us because nothing's open. So, food to that. doesn't want us to go. Can we can we go now? Can we go? It's been a long it's been a long time. He's tired. He just, just chilling. Accidentally got tired under the bike. Mom, can you get your puppy please? <laughs> oh, mom's busy. <laughs> can, can you get your puppy please? We gotta go. Go on. 